Okay, so with this particular example, I've got a website called Cool Loft Conversions, and I've actually, like an idiot, uploaded the wrong logo. I've uploaded the Cool Home Improvements one. So this one needs to be switched. Uh, now, what I would usually do, nine times out of 10, would of course, I'd go into the theme options, and then of course, I would change the logo there, and then that would then reflect across the whole website. That's all well and good, but what if you've maybe referenced that logo in a blog post? Of course, it will, sh it will still show up the old logo and if you then went and deleted the old logo after you uploaded the new one it would have a 404 error which is not good for google not good for people visiting your website and it just looks a bit poor so the best thing surely is to replace this exact image and that's what we're going to do now so uh, i'm going to go into the website admin and uh, i've already installed this particular plugin but i'll show you what it's all about if you go to plugins and then add new you need to search for a plugin called Enable Media Replace. And it'll look something like this. As you can see, I've already installed it, but what you need to do is click Install Now, and then when the button goes blue, click the Activate button. And then when you do this, you can then go to your media library and then find the image that you want to replace. So this is gonna be the logo, so let's just search for that. And as you can see, when you hover over, there's now a link that says replace media. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click into the image and do it another way, just in case you're confused about how to do it. So as you can see, that's the logo that needs replacing. And then at the bottom there is a button that says upload a new file. Now, what it's really important to do is to make sure your logo that you're going to upload is exactly the same file name as what's there already. So this one is shown cool-loft-conversions-logo.png. Each word is capitalized. It needs to be exactly right. So if you've got your logo, make sure you're going to name it exactly the same, okay? So I've done that now and I'm going to now choose my file and upload the new logo. Now this is just a thumbnail, don't worry, it won't appear like that. And then you've got just replace a file. There is a second option which we don't need to worry about, but all we're doing is literally switching the file over. So it therefore means that no blogs have to be amended, no posts amended, it will just change over the file, it will swap it over. So I can now click upload. And what that will do is flick it over and it means that any references to the old image will simply show the new one, which means you're not relying on this plugin to go through, search out the old URLs and replace them with any new addresses. This is by far the easier way to do it. So great, that's all done now. So if we then go back to the website homepage, if we do a force refresh, you can do Control F5 on a Windows machine or Control Shift and R if you're on a Mac and you should be able to see that it's all switched over. There we go, cool loft conversions. So that's how to replace an image quickly and easily.